Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, son, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, and double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the sincere Akim and Akwaf tuning into this lesson, Lord willing and edifying. And in this lesson, which is going to be a short lesson, I want to go into the scripture right here. This is Psalms 69, verse 22. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Yeah, and we could apply this scripture to two-thirds of the nation of Israel, which is the wicked of the, the nation of Israel, the Israelites. The Israelites today are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, but we could also apply this to the other nations, such as Esau, Edom, so forth and so on. Esau, Edom being the so-called white man, which is our top enemy, okay, out of all the other nations, okay? And it says, let their table become a snare, all right? And their table represents, you know, um, their purpose, okay? You know, because what's on the table? You have all types of food, man, all right? The scriptures say they eat. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 17, it says, For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. That's Esau Edom, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to read up. It says, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. Proverbs 4 and 16. Okay? And that's Esau Edom. Because um, the scriptures say in, what is it, Micah 2 and 1? All right, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Micah 2 and 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yep, that's Esau Edom. Okay? That's Esau Edom. All right? Beginning with the elites. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay, which are the main ones pushing forward this agenda, okay, it was their agenda to uh, start about this uh, scandemic, okay, they trying to have everybody receive that thing, right, that's part of that devising iniquity that's talking about in Micah the second chapter, okay, and they have more agendas, man, but as we're reading, the table is going to become a snare. Let me go back to that scripture real quick. It says, for the, uh, verse of Proverbs 4 and 17, for they eat the bread of wine. Excuse me. Proverbs 4 and 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Okay. So their table is full of wickedness and violence. All right. But on the righteous side, you have the men of the Lord, in which our greatest example is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, My meat is to do the will of the Father. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. And that's 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 our table, man. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Shai, Lord willing, we endure to the end, man. We want to finish the Heavenly Father's. Uh, purpose for us okay so that we could be saved because that's the goal man all right and uh i'm gonna jump back to psalm 69 all right it says psalm 69 verse 22 it says let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, for welfare, let it become a trap. Yeah, because 
what Esau Edom is trying to do is establish his new world order. Okay, and we know that pursuant to, this is going to be the last scripture, the book of Job, the 20th chapter, all right, that new world order agenda will be short-lived, okay? This is Job chapter 20, verse 19. It says, because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor because he had violently taken away in the house which he builded not surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly he shall not save of that which he desired there shall none of his meat be left therefore shall no man look for his goods in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits every hand of the wicked shall come upon him yeah this is talking about the elites all right so-called illuminati the shadow government in the fullness of their sufficiency he shall be in straits. Okay. So when um when they really go about bringing out that new world order agenda, going back to Revelation the thirteenth chapter, where they cause all, where they make that declaration to cause all to receive that mark in their right hand on their forehead, which is the RFID microchip. He's going to be in positions of difficulty, okay? Because the Most High is going to throw a monkey wrench in his agenda, okay? Um, it's like you. Um, I'm going to just read on. I lost my chain of thought. It says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Yeah, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. The word wicked in the Hebrew is Aymal, and it, it means laborers, okay? So it's talking about us, and that's that's why scriptures say in Amos the, ninth, the, Amos the ninth chapter that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, okay? Yeah, now I remember what I wanted to say, because during this time... You know, like the Apostle Tahar said, you know, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Everything going to be moving quickly. Okay. And we're going to be in World War Three, So there's going to be battles over there. And ultimately, these, the, the nations are going to um, shoot their nuclear missiles on this place, man. Okay. And make it a desolation. It says... Verse 20, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and he shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah. When he is about to fill his belly, it's talking metaphorically, okay? Meaning when he is about to come to completion of his new world order, okay? It says right here, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon while he's eating. It's talking about that nuclear destruction, okay? Because the nuclear missile is going to come down like rain upon this land. And that's prophecy, all right? Thus saith Yah Bashim Yah Shai. All right, so Esau, you know, he's going to cause all, he's going to implement the, uh, Mandatory, the, he's going to mandate the mark of the beast. You know, you're going to have certain people take it to their destruction. You know, you might, you're going to have certain Israelites take it, all right, as well as the other nations. Okay, they're going to all be destroyed for taking that, going back to Revelation 14. All right, you know, and that's part of this is this is his new world order agenda to be like the most high, man. All right, to have the souls of men. Okay. So, um, but, but like the scriptures say, you know, Esau, Edom, they're not going to accomplish that goal, man. And by them implementing this goal, it's going to lead them to a quicker downfall. All right. And, and the most high is going to completely destroy this man and his kingdom. All right. So with that, I'm going to say.
Kahalal, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Ababa Ball, Shalom.